What's up guys, Ben here, bringing you another video today. It is a uh, Wednesday morning and I wanted to make an update on a new development in the Scump and Hex lawsuit uh, versus Activision. There was an update that hit the dock at the last couple of days. I don't know how I'm the first one to really talk about it, report on it, but let's dive in on what it means for the case, uh, what it means for uh, maybe Scump and Hector getting a settlement down the line, what it may mean for Activision starting to uh, a piece at the defense uh, of their end of the lawsuit. So let's dive in. All right. So uh, as you might know, just to give some funny background, Tuesdays is like my off day. I, I try to do like no content on Tuesdays. I just need like one day to, you know, kind of unpack. So yesterday, uh, you know, did my chores, you know, went around town, get back. And I just um, went on courtlistener.com, which is a great website. I check kind of every day to see if there are updates in the Scump and Hector case. And I'll put a, a link to uh, you to see how to get to this specific page you can follow it as well. And I scrolled down and saw there was a new entry here uh, on March 1st, so last week, in a sort of mutual stay from both parties um, to move uh, uh, to arbitration uh, to determine if uh, parts of the cases uh, uh, really kind of hold up here in the complaint. So let's dive in on what's actually covered here. So a couple of key things here. First off, in the timeline of all things, last fall, it looks like there were conversations already between uh, Hector in Activision Blizzard about some of his issues and concerns and some of the uh, incidents that were outlined in the original complaint in this lawsuit. And it seems like on October 6th, 6th Activision Blizzard actually submitted a uh, request for arbitration uh, based on some of the claims. Now, basically what I think is going on here, and we'll get to that in a second, is that pretty much any team player agreement you've ever seen from Activision, uh, any handbook, and I can even show you, like if we click over here an example, this is like the challengers handbook from last season almost all of these documents that activision has or handbooks or things that you need to sign legal documents have some sort of binding arbitration uh clause now arbitration is basically a form of alternative uh, uh dispute resolution basically instead of um going to a federal court or state court or local court to resolve a dispute between two parties there is this thing called arbitration which an independent uh process usually confidential will determine uh, a result in a conflict between uh, two parties. Obviously, it often becomes sort of an effort of money versus money. And uh, oftentimes it is used because it is a confidential process and things do not have to become public. And we'll get to why that's important here in this case. But it looks like that process was started on October 6th and an additional on January 29th, in which Seth um, uh, 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 Scump and his claims were kind of added to sort of the overall uh, request to sort of start an arbitration process. And so what I think is going on here, and if there are smarter lawyers out here who want to sort of expand in the comments or, you know, kind of tweet at me or hop on stream, but basically my understanding of where this is at is as part of the defense uh, from Activision here, they are saying that part of the complaints, part of the damages here are covered by um, the arbitration clauses within the agreements that have been signed by both Hector and scump and though in the terms of this case there are jurisdictional issues there are legal issues in which these claims may not stand up due to the arbitration clauses that exist in these contracts and so both parties have agreed for different reasons to move to an arbitration process to determine which parts of this case are going to proceed is all they going to be settled a lot of uh, questions need to be considered before we get to uh potentially a, a lengthy trial discovery etc and basically i can kind of see this happening for Two reasons for Activision, the defendants, there are parts of this case um, that they probably do not want public, the evidence of public, right? Things where Scump talked about what happened in the players meeting, who was forced to sign a contract. They don't want those conversations to be confirmed or documents to come out from that. On the Hector side about, you know, trying to get sole ownership and being told he's not the type of owner that the league wants. I assume Activision doesn't want the full documentation of that stuff to come out. So from the defendant side, there's a way to resolve this dispute and not get that evidence out here. What could be a significant PR issue for them? For Hex and Scump, this obviously saves them a bunch of money in going through a million pretrial and, and sort of uh, dismissal motions uh, in this case as the defendants try to pick apart um, the lawsuit, the complaint, as well as this may provide them a path to get a settlement here, uh, potentially more money or actually get a settlement in the case uh, via arbitration and then resolve this dispute out of court. So basically both parties have agreed to enter this um, arbitration. We will not get a lot of details, I think, on this until the parties provide an update to the court. Once the uh, 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 arbitration has sort of ruled on what's going on here, it says within 14 days. So it might be a minute uh, before we get a further update on this. But uh, there's a pause in this case right now, at least proposed to the judge and we'll see if they issue the proposed order. 
of submitted by this sort of mutual uh, uh, motion from both parties on, you know, kind of what happens here. Will the case proceed on maybe a couple of um, the uh, causes of action that's provided in the complaint? Is the whole thing going to be settled out of court? I think it'll be a while before we get an update, but at least we got some motion here as uh, kind of initially, you know, Activision, we haven't even gotten word yet as Activision have received the lawsuit. We've now uh, gotten that and they have met with uh, Hexens since, Hex since comes today. Let's move to arbitration and, and kind of come through a couple key issues here before we proceed on whatever is going on here. I think my last point on this is I really want to address again, because I think I did it on stream and I did it on the flank at one point, like the people that say, oh, like Activision is going to continue to retaliate against Seth and Hector. They're not um, going to be able to attend events. I, I, I watch parties, all that stuff. Nothing on that sun is on that front is uh, going to happen. I think they're going to continue to, you know, in the areas where they have a relationship, either via, you know, their official CDL team participation, MTX, all participation in the uh, CDL watch program. Um, other things that continue to have that relationship while this dispute is uh, a sort of, obviously it's not an ideal situation for everybody. You don't ever want a, a dispute like this to become a, public court case even go to arbitration like this you know resolve things into parties privately but here we are but it looks like at least we're getting some movement here and and personally from my end and the people i've talked to they think at some point before the end of the year these parties will likely settle whether or not that's you know on the best terms for seth and hector on the best terms for activision tbd whether we'll even know unless one of the parties say you know it's another question but there's some movement here i think to try and resolve this before it becomes a big public court case with discovery, a trial, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Let me know in the comments what you guys think uh, about this. If you're a lawyer and you maybe have some more contacts I didn't cover, any comments are appreciated. Like, if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. And as always, guys, we will see you on the next one.